Uh, bartender, may I get a vodka martini? Uh, Mr. Uh, the name's Bond. James Bond. Well, all right, Mr. Bond, James Bond. May I see some ID? Oh, uh, sure. All right, thank you. Look, whatever. There you, oh, sh there you are, Bond. Oh, Q, what are you doing down here? Yes, I have a new invention for you. There's this company named Exter that offered me some assistance. Oh, here we go. It's called an Exter wallet. It's the world's slimmest and smartest wallet. An Esco wallet? Well, that does actually look like a very interesting wallet, if I may say so. See, Q, I don't really need a wallet. I already have one. Yes, I know you already have a wallet. But that old bifold wallet is very bulky, and it's worn out, and quite frankly, it's embarrassing, especially for a man of your stature. It's quite tacky. Now, I know that you're not saying I'm tacky with you wearing that tacky jacket. Yes, I know that my jacket might seem tacky to you, but I know it's not as tacky as your breath. <laughs> All right, whatever. As you can see, you have a very sleek and minimalistic design, and it has high quality leather. And I also gave you a quick card access feature, and it makes it very easy for you to access your cards by the click of the button there. We also added a built-in RFID protection, which helps protect from wireless theft. I made sure to go all out when it comes to the security. Ah, yes, and before I forget, we also get you a tracker. You can just slide it into the pocket. Now this tracker is a solar power tracker and you can track the location of your wallet through your smartphone it has a two-way ringer you also get separation alerts and if you lose your wallet around the house you can just yell out and it works with google home or or well, i guess you can say that is the james bonds of wallets <laughs> no well thank you q i know i can always count on you and for any of you who are interested in getting your own Esker wallet, if you click the link down below in my description right now, you can get up to 20% off on your next purchase. And thank you to Esker Wallet for sponsoring this video. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Melo. I almost forget, I almost forget, I almost forget. How Slytherin, bitch! All right, everybody, now let's get into this movie reaction. I wonder if they are going to go the same route with this franchise like they did with the original Harry Potter franchise going more and more dark each and every movie. Cause you can feel that with just that opening right there. True, I actually like that look better than the last look he had. Why do you have his pet in there with him? I think it would be smart to separate them, right? Prisoner is secured and ready to travel. You've thrown everything at him, I see. It was necessary. He's extremely powerful. Yeah, it looks like everything that you've thrown at him has not affected him at all. Boy, look like he's just chilling. What the hell? Oh my God, that... Pose. Why do you had him like that? He owes you a great debt, Madam President. Do not underestimate him. Hmm, we got those invisible animals. We found his wand hidden away. How about nothing? And we found this. Why are you carrying that stuff with him? Why don't y'all bring that along with a separate transit? And y'all need to fire that dude or at least question him because he's coming off with some weird vibes, man. Seem like that boy is one of his followers or something. Especially she already knew that he was trying to hold something off. <laughs> Where was everybody? You telling me nobody saw him like do that? And he had the elder one too, it looked like. I like that shot. I was like, that's, I could tell that was CGI, but it still looked somewhat good. What? <laughs> How? How? 
show, this dude did all of that. This dude coming off to be more powerful than Tom Riddle, man. This probably has to be one of the best opening sequences for any Harry Potter movie, man. This is straight fire. <laughs> I love the music that they playing in the background too. You have joined the noble cause, my friend. No. You like, nah, let me whoop his ass, man. <laughs> so needy. Damn, you really just gonna throw your boy out like that. Shoot, I know that boy is thinking, you son of a bitch. Yo, I'm really liking this dude, Grindelwald, man. Yo, I love that opening theme for these last two movies right here. When they show the title sequence, stuff be getting me hype. I really wish that Harry Potter would have went up against Grindelwald, man. Especially that final fight between Harry Potter and Tom Riddle was very anticlimactic. And seeing this dude, Grindelwald, he just has a whole nother level of power that Tom Riddle didn't even have unless they just wasn't showing us. They're ready for you, Newt. Theseus thought it would be good if I became part of the Ministry family. Did he actually Shit. say the words Ministry family? <laughs> Yo, I'll be acting just like him if she came up to me, man. That girl right there is like an angel. Theseus was disappointed you couldn't come to dinner. Well, I've been busy. He's your brother, Newt. He likes to in town. <laughs> that boy said, fuck your window, bro. <laughs> He's like, you missed the spot. I'm like, damn, asshole. The committee will agree to lift your travel ban. Under one condition. You want me to hunt Greedence down? Same old Scamander. What is he doing here? Yeah, we can already tell he a villain. That boy had the same, that boy had the- What? Uh, dang it, what's the word? <laughs> that boy had the cliche villain entrance. By the means I think you didn't have to pull your head out the side. Okay, right, here we go. What, selfish, irresponsible. You know I don't think that boy would ever put his, his head in the sand, bro, with hair Listen, like that. Yeah. They're watching you. I mean, that's obvious though, but thank you for letting me know that. Like I was an idiot or something. So we can already tell that he's the odd one out of the family. I can relate a little bit. See, was that his father or something? He was like, what is he doing here and all that? Or was that like a, a old mentor of his or something? Yo, this dude right here is bold, man. I, I don't even think he really gives a damn. Not trying to hide at all. Kilo. This will be suitable after a thorough cleanse. <laughs> wow, you take somebody else's house and you kill them too. That's some savage stuff right there. I'm just gaining more and more respect for this dude, man. Especially, I love Johnny Depp. Oh, dang. You already know you got to kill the kid, bro. You're a villain. And the even more villain thing is to take the kid as your own. <laughs> that little kid was like, damn, that dude was ugly. <laughs> Why would you poke around the corner? <laughs> who the hell is that? Heck, nah, I ain't shaking your hand. I don't know who you are. Dumbledore. Oh, Dumbledore. Okay. That's what's up, bro. I like that trick. Dude, nobody's gonna question a random ass fog. This just came out of nowhere and it was quick. I've been like, what the hell is going on? <laughs> There's a story in my family that a phoenix will come to any Dumbledore in desperate need. They say my great grandfather had one. Oh, that's a nice little Easter egg right there. Letting us know of the phoenix. I think Judd Law was a uh, great casting for Dumbledore. I really liked him in the Sherlock Holmes movies. An obscurus grows in the absence of love. Wherever Credence is in Paris, he's either in danger or a danger to others. And I rather hope you might be the one to find him. Did the ministry send you after me, Dumbledore? Because they knew that I would listen to you. Do you know why I admire you, Newt? More perhaps than any man I know. That beard looks fake as hell. Seek power. <laughs> well, that's all very well, Dumbledore, but forgive me for asking, why can't you go? Like, bro, I got a class to teach. I got a job. So you gonna pay my bills? 
There go this little thief. He's like, what's up, play? I just wanted this real quick. You ain't using it. Bro, what's up with these dang beasts, man? These dudes just love stealing stuff. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, I really like that design. I don't know what type of beast that was. That was so cool. You can, um, you can clock off now. Seriously, you go home now, Bunty. You must be exhausted. You know the Kelpie's easier with two. Mm, she trying to give you some messages, bro. Perhaps you should take off your shirt. <laughs> she, that. she wanted to be a little bit more direct enough. right there. Oh my God, that looks absolutely amazing right there. Oh, I loved how they did that effect. That's one of the things I forgot to mention in the last movie was just the effects look great. They're great. You like Bunty again and there'll be trouble, mister. Where do they come up with the ideas for these designs, man? That beast right there looks beautiful. But I want you to go home now, Bunty. Shall I call the ministry? No, I want you to Girl, go home! I don't want you here no more! Damn, do I have to fire your ass? I don't want you. <laughs> the hell? What the hell y'all doing up in my house? Hey. You broke my vase? You were supposed to have been obliviated. <laughs> it didn't work, pal. The potion only erases bad memories. I didn't have any. She filled me in on all the bad parts and the... Uh... Oh, that's an absolutely stupid spell then. Hey, y'all not about to get it on in my freaking house. You better get y'all a hotel, go to a Best Western or something. Not allowed to date nomads, just not allowed to marry them, blah, blah, blah. Is this man under a spell or something? Why did you do to this man? Anyway, because of you. Newt's commander with fiance, Lita Lestrange. No, Cecilius is marrying Lita, not me. You tell me your ex-girlfriend's about to marry your brother? Oh, hell no. Oh God. No, God! No, God, please, no! No! Okay, I can see why he's so distant with them. Yeah, I would whoop my brother's ass, bro. I'm so, that, I'm pissed off now. <laughs> that is messed up. You see, Jacob and I, we're getting married. Oh, I was about to say, do not tell me your ass better be pregnant. <laughs> Y'all making a mess up in my damn house if y'all don't get the hell up out of here. Queen Eve brought him here against his will. Oh, that is an outrageous accusation. Hmm? Please don't. Queen why are you, why you enchanted him? I thought y'all was like in love and stuff. What, what's, 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 what's going on here? What you do with that, Mrs. Commander? <laughs> Girl, you telling me you fine and crazy? Why did you put this man under a love spell? They don't like people like me marrying people like you. I ain't a wizard. You wasn't acting Chris like that when y'all first started talking? The... Sweetheart, you don't need to enchant me. I'm already enchanted. Exactly, that's I what I was saying. So much. One of us had to be brave and you were being a coward. Okay, you sound selfish. No. I'm gonna go see my sister. Oh my God, Fox, here we go. Sister. How are you gonna be mad at no. him? You're the one who did all the... You gotta be fucking kidding me. Are you serious? Bro, this is like that TikTok. It's like, how are you gonna be mad at me for being mad at you for something you did to me? That was, I don't, I think that was unnecessary. What a beautiful city. I'm thinking of you, Tina. So it's like everything is telling him to go to Paris. Hey, no. I think this is like all a setup. He was like, hey, what's up, bro? Can you tell him to feed me, man? He hasn't fed me in a couple days. <laughs> Yeah, that was a great spell, man. <laughs> okay, it seemed like all that unnecessary stuff between him and Queenie and all that was just a reason to bring them back into the movie. <laughs> Woo! It's like some Gandalf stuff right there. I think I know where she is. We escaped tonight. Oh my God. Obviously, he still got that Obscurus in him, so he could have been escaped. She is the carrier of a blood curse. You will not be able to transform back. Oh, oh snap. Oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, it's the whole crux. 
Yo, that is fire. Oh my god. Oh, that's probably the best Easter egg so far. We definitely need that boy Newt here, man, so he can help capture these beasts again. Paris is done for us now. Oh, I love it when they do stuff like that. Will the ministries of Europe and America let him live? Shoot, hell no, that boy getting canceled right now. <laughs> Why don't we grab him and leave? He must come to me freely. What makes you think that he'll come back to you after what you tried to do to him in the last movie? Why is he so important? you like, boy, you're gonna stop questioning me, man. If I asked you now to go to the school where he is hiding and kill him for me, would you do it for me, Crawl? Exactly, that's what I thought. So shut your man mouth. But will you be with us when that happens, Crawl? That's a, that's a great way to check somebody. Stop asking me questions, boy. What do you think I should say to her if I see her? She has eyes just like a salamander. Don't say uh, that. Yeah, yeah, I was about to say, what? <laughs> do not say that. Take that beast talk out of your mind when you talk to a girl, bro. Man, I love Newt, man. I wish I could be friends with Newt. Two, one. <laughs> oh my god i'm telling you i just be getting blown away every single time they show something new when it comes to magic bro i mean i understand there's like no limits but it's just this is so amazing confund us <laughs> we're off in a few minutes <laughs> What was that, bro? Shoot, all that physical movement and stuff, bro. What the hell? Vestigium. No, what are you it's doing? Japanese water demon. This dude does not give a damn. And we're licking the dirt now. <laughs> Yo, this boy's determined. Yo, he's one hell of a tracker, man. Someone came towards her. I hope Newt is gonna do like a men in black thing on this street right here. You know, bring out the neuralizer or something. Drop the bucket. They're really doing so many things when it comes to magic in front of all these muggles, man. Could we at least stop for coffee or like no, a no, Jacob. chocolate show or just for a second? Jacob! <laughs> I wonder how long it probably took her to be able to control that power she has to read people's minds. Cause I know it can get pretty overwhelming sometimes. You just have all these influx of what people think. Like how can you block that out and only focus on one person or maybe just a couple people. See, cause right now it's starting, she's starting to have like an anxiety attack or something or just have like an emotional breakdown or something. And it's just, it's overwhelming for her. Oh, I love the directing right there. That was nice. I really do like David Yates' directing style. Your name is on my adoption paper. You gave me to Mrs. Barebone in New York. She probably think like, damn, this boy found me. <laughs> oh, I thought she did. <laughs> I see a resemblance in the eyes. I am not your mother. Oh. I was only a servant. Why is your name on my adoption paper? I took you to Mrs. Barebone. Oh my god! Oh, he made that boy turn into the Obscurus. Oh. oh my god. These effects are nice, man. This is one hell of a blockbuster, bro. Yo, that set piece right there was so fantastic, bro. I knew he was a villain. I could already tell. She's dead. <sighs> so we actually, we were just wondering if you'd come across a friend of ours. Perhaps if I showed you where, that would, if you wouldn't mind, that would be. I definitely don't know if you can trust this dude, man. Especially what they showed us in the last scene. Why you gonna go in first? <sighs> Patina. Well, that's not the best start to a rescue attempt. Oh, this was a rescue <laughs> attempt? 
Oh, yeah, forget all about that little man. Well, that was short-lived. Yeah, I think I deserve an apology. Like I said, rescue mission. Come on, Nuke, get out of there. Is Nuke gonna do some more of his fancy little movements and all that stuff? <laughs> He's like, bro, where'd you get that? I've always wanted one of those, man. I'm gonna just keep saying it, bro. Are, are y'all gonna do anything about these muggles, man? All right, it seems like they're not erasing their memory right here. So obviously we would have heard about this in the Harry Potter movies. Hogwarts! How Slytherin, bitch! That's what I'm talking about. Out of here. What, what the hell, man? Hey, are you paying for my, my education, sir? You are the only wizard who is his equal. I hope they give us a scene like they did at the end of Order of the Phoenix, man. You and Grindelwald were as close as brothers. Oh, we were closer than brothers. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting, okay. Him and Grindelwald were together. That's what's up. I'm glad that they giving us some character building right there with Dumbledore. I didn't know Dumbledore was like that. I didn't really didn't even care, but all right. Theseus, if Grindelwald calls a rally, don't try and break it up. Don't let Travis send you in there. I don't know if Theseus is uh, probably one of Grindelwald's followers or something, or he might turn into one of his followers. I just, I don't, I don't know about that dude. He seemed like one of those dudes, you know, he's real nice and everything. And then all of a sudden, whenever they want to throw like a little twist in, he's like, oh, sorry, little brother. <laughs> you know what they always be doing? Her family don't actually want her home. I don't blame them. She's so annoying. It's Cassie! Woo! Made you shut up like Neo. Professor McGonagall! Oh, Professor McGonagall is here. What? How Slytherin, bitch. That's what I'm talking about. You better shut them bitches up. Sure, you already know Professor McGonagall. She got that style. You feel me? Scamander, why aren't you packing? I'm not going home. Oh, oh, hey, yo. That is a great impression, bro. Sound just like that dude. All right, Newt. Be brave. Oh, Newt was a Hufflepuff? Mr. Scamander... Fears what more than anything else in the world? Having to work in an office, sir. I mean, hey, everybody fears that. You feel me? Shoot, turn into a zombie. It can't hurt you. Everyone is scared of something. I've been looking forward to this. Girl, why are you always talking shit? Shut your big foreheaded ass up. Bowling ball head ass. They ain't gonna explain what that was? What was that? What was that? Somebody drowning or something? They only nest in trees with one quality wood. Did you know that? Yo, that was a great flashback. I like that. She was about to have me tearing up a little bit. You feel me? She whooped tore y'all apart. You know, I mean, I understand some people, they just grow apart, but like, that's messed up. Especially you went towards his brother. Peter, I know how painful the rumors about your brother Corvus must be for you. No, you don't. Not unless you had a brother who died too. In my case, it was my sister. I was wondering when they was gonna Did bring her up. Not as well as I should have done. Ah, that's an interesting answer. Thought he was gonna say yes. Really? His brother was making it seem like Dumbledore's sister was Dumbledore's world. He felt, maybe he was talking about that after she passed away. I love how to do Dumbledore is like Professor Xavier, you know, in the Harry Potter world. Oh, are you married? Let's say. Deeply committed. Oh, girl, that man does not you give see, a damn I about you. Are you making a joke or if you're just French? What? <laughs> what? So we got to have another one of them like tropes where the right hand woman thinks that the dude is in love with them. I would never see you out. Ever. Dude, I love shots like that. You know, you can fault. see him in the it's mirror and everything. I wish you were working with me now. We're free to live openly, to love freely. Shoot, I know Grindelwald would definitely love living today. And that's not me joking. That's me, like, saying something completely serious. So the thing that that man Dumbledore wants the most is to love freely with Grindelwald. Dumbledore, that man ugly. You could have got something better, man. Like, really? But you know, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, you feel me? I need to question him. I think he knows who Credence really is, and the scars on his hands suggest an, an unbreakable, unbreakable vow. vow. I noticed that, too. Oh, my 
God, man, that's like some Prometheus stuff. Oh, oh. Boy. oh. Come on. Oh my god. Calamari. <laughs> oh my god, bro. That delivery was hilarious, bro. That was on point right there. You really broke the tension in a great way, bro. It's probably the best way to do that. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Uh, wait! Tina! You didn't mention salamanders, did you? No, I did. She just. I, she, I mean, she that, I <laughs> you the one who said calamari, she so. Just <laughs> now, every or in Europe wants credence that except you. You've gone middle age. Who else uses that expression, Mr. Smith? Well, you know, that boy Newt is one of a kind, you feel me? So you better treat him right. <laughs> that girl just standing there like, yeah, I'm just trying to get my screen time. <laughs> Oh my God, what the hell? What have the Muggles got to say about this? Like, what are they thinking? This is absolutely incredible right here, man. It's kind of making me want to see this uh, third one in theaters. I, and I just noticed, you know, Newt is a Hufflepuff. And for the last, this movie and the last movie, he's been wearing a yellow vest to represent his colors. What do you want? Nothing. This is where you will find proof of your true identity. I feel the same way like I did in the last movie. It's like every scene that they show with Ezra Miller, I like instantly lose interest. It's just, it seems like it's something completely different from the movie. It just takes away from the movie, even though he is the main story in this movie, more so than the last movie, because I felt like the beasts were the main story in the last movie than this one, but I don't care about his story. Oh my God, you ugly. I'm afraid we keep no food in the house. Oh, I thought that was a woman. <laughs> Nicolas Flamel. Nicholas Flamel? What? It's all right. I didn't know. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, and the only thing that's keeping him alive is the Sorcerer's Stone, right? Or the Philosopher's Stone, I'm sorry. At last we see some development. Yeah. Okay, so it seems like a lot of this movie is just, remember this, remember this, and uh, hey, here we go, this, and all this stuff. Dang, that boy should have stayed a little longer. There it go, the Philosopher's Stone. Boy, it looked like it's in his prime over there, shining and everything. Then you gotta go. What? I have oh, she in this movie? Oh, she is hilarious. You can do this. That's my brother's thesis. <laughs> wow, that didn't go according to plan. Already. So I think I may have mentioned in my letters that we have quite a complicated relationship. You stop! Do you want to kill you? Frequently. I mean, he already no. killed me, man. He took my girl. He needs to control his temper. I think that might have been the best moment of my life. <laughs> I agree, bro. That was nice. Yes, this is Lita Lestrange. You don't think that she don't know and, uh, what, I mean, how Lita Lestrange uh, looks? Sorry, yeah, I should have. Congratulated you. No. It's, it's not the truth, girl. I mean, I knew that's why she was acting so mad at him and stuff. I didn't know it was about his article or whatever he wrote about auras too, but unless she was just making that be the reason when it wasn't, she's really mad at him about this fiance business. I don't want you to be happy that I'm happy because I'm not I'm or engaged. My brother's marrying Lita June the 6th. I'm supposed to be best man. Does he think you're here to win her back? Mm. Are you here to win her back? I wasn't even thinking about that. You know, your eyes really are. are Go ahead and say it, bro. Be yourself, I was Newt. To say. Ah, be yourself, bro. Yo, Eddie Redmayne played this part so well, man. He acted the hell out of this character. It's like fire in water, in dark water. And I've only ever seen that. <laughs> say it. Hey, y'all about to have me start tearing up, bro. Why y'all tearing up too, bro? But we here for a mission, man. You, gotta, you know, you gotta stay focused. Oh, man. Records moved to Lestrange family tomb at Père Lachaise. Come on, why would you pop out, bro? Now she know Second I'm here. Oh, no. Oh, look at them cats. Oh, man, that's like them drawings and stuff that people be doing. They won't hurt you unless you- Super fight. 
God damn, girl. Unless you attack them. She, well, she is a little strange, you know? That's one of her first instincts to attack. They all about that smoke. Oh yeah, you gotta get up out of there. That boy gonna get jumped. Sure, I know this is one of the things a lot of people don't really like nowadays where it just becomes a whole big CGI fest. I mean, to me, this looks great right here. <laughs> Yo! What? Oh my God. You telling me that thing can teleport? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, she the one, Newt. Her little sister. Please this whole thing me. was a setup, man, and I, I knew it. Just to get all these people together. Just, just tell me my story, then you can end it. Your story is our story. The new man of great influence from a famous French pure blood family used the imperious curse to seduce and abduct her. Oh, that's some bullshit. She died giving birth. You. So this is the truth? So that's why his family never called her yes. home. Yes. No. From Hogwarts. Realizing. Strange is already dead. I killed him. Right. What is up with this shit? Yeah. Y'all need Dr. Phil or something. What the hell is going up in here? Get us involved in y'all family drama, man. Corvus never stopped crying. Please don't tell me you threw that baby off the him. boat. I only wanted to be free of him just for a moment. Oh, you was a hater. Okay. You didn't like how your father loved him and didn't love you. Oh, okay. So that's what that thing was. I, I had a feeling it was somebody drowning because of the fact that it was like blue. So she just regrets doing what she did. I mean, yeah, like she said, she didn't want to hurt him. She just... Got tired of that boy crying and shit. He's like, boy, I'm trying to go to sleep. Oh my goodness. This whole little thing right here reminds me of like a dream I had. I, I just thought maybe we could hear him first, you know? What are you talking about? Damn, they really got to her, man. That is sad right there. Shoot, what house was Grindelwald a part of? Slytherin? It is said that I hate they know magic. I do not hate them. Then why are you trying to take over the world then? Or maybe you're just sick and tired of hiding. Oh, and what a world we would make for all of humanity. We who live for freedom. I know, that contact was probably <laughs> irritating after a while. The moment has come. It's crazy how all these people really just fell into his trap, man. Oh, I see you, boy. You got that hookah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, this boy's showing the future. So what are y'all gonna do to stop World War II or World War I, whichever one? No, I think it's World that War II, right? Because World War I already passed. Is what? That is the enemy. Their power lost. Damn, that is a good argument, man. I ain't gonna lie. You must remain calm. Come on, Niffler, man. Don't get yourself hurt. There are orders here among us. Come close to brother wizards, join us. So much tension right here in this scene, man. They had struck down the fellow witches and wizards for the simple crime of seeking the truth. Come on, bro. You just showed us that the humans just started a war. Now you're going to have us start a war amongst ourselves? If I was there, I'd have been like, bro, this dude just lost all credibility right there. Now, I know that you didn't want to start a war, but this, the words that you were saying and stuff, you already know some people are going to feel that way to do something like what just happened. Hey, you shouldn't have been freaking questioning me, bro. You shouldn't have been talking shit. Shouldn't have had any doubts. And he was still having doubts. So I feel like that's why that fire burned him up. Your eternal allegiance or die. Only here shall you know yourself. Play by the rules. No cheating, children. You said no cheating. You the one cheating. 
A lot of people said that this one was worse than the first one. I mean, I could I could see why, but I I like this one. You Come on, Queenie. It. I like that shot. That was fire right there. Literally. <laughs> He's a muggle. He can't go through the fire. You crazy. Did you just now see that? That's probably why no. she can't find no man. Queenie, don't do it. <laughs> Damn, Queenie really just broke my heart right there. Damn, that was so emotional. I'm loving this music right here. Oh, that's his fire. <laughs> this boy, Johnny Depp, is killing it, man. I wish he would have been in the third movie. Come on now. Damn, he disintegrated her like it was nothing. I hate Paris. <laughs> Johnny Depp gave the best performance out of this whole movie, man. You already know Eddie Redmayne, he gave a great performance too. And of course, Zoe Kravitz, you know. That's what I'm talking about, brothers. <laughs> Yo, I was hoping they would have some type of fire outro, like just some epic ending. This finale right here is epic. I cannot wait to read the comments because I really want to know they, like specifically why people didn't like this movie. But me, this shit is amazing right here. Now I know the story could use a little work. Bro, y'all need some help, you feel me? I'll help y'all out. I, I did that. I did that. It was it was me. I did that all by myself. You, you see, as soon as I came in, it ended. That, that was me. I did that. I can't believe Queenie really did this. So I know in the next movie, that's going to be like one of the subplots is them trying to get Queenie back. Or maybe she dies. You never know. I know that there's like five movies, so... I wonder what this is all leading up towards. That's what I'm talking about, bros before hoes, you feel me? I've got you. What was I've you doing? You. What was the whole point of you getting out? Oh, <laughs> you really took that off of him. How, how did you do that? Probably when he was busy looking at the uh, redhead when she died. I thought he would have felt that though. This is the only place that you can find refuge for a wizard, you know? Even though Hogwarts is dangerous as hell. You need to be careful. He's not sure he made the right choice. Shoot, I mean, that was smart to get somebody like that on your side because, you know, she can read minds and stuff. That's a nice wand. Your brother seeks to destroy you. His, his brother who? There is a legend in your family that a phoenix will come to any member. What the fuck? <laughs> what? He's a Dumbledore? You gotta be fucking kidding me. What? Aurelius Dumbledore. You gotta be kidding me. Was he the one that showed up in the last Harry Potter movie? We remake this world. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what a surprise. Now that's how you end a movie off right there. Okay. <laughs> that, oh my God. Yo, oh shit. Yeah, they making me want to see this in the theater now, bro. Oh my goodness. No wonder the third one is called The Secrets of Dumbledore. Okay. I mean, because, you know, he got the secret with him and Grindelwald and now him and his brother. And I love these end credits right here. I don't know if I can say that this was better than the first one. I mean, like, it's still not as good as the original Harry Potter movies or whatever. It has potential. It's just like there's other stuff around it where it's just like, I wish you wouldn't have did that. Oh, oh I like that. Oh, I like that. So um, even though there's like a little bit of story here in the first one and the second one, it never really had a good story to me. I just, I hope and pray that they bring Johnny Depp back. Cause even though I like uh, Maz Mickelson and everything, I want Johnny Depp, but that might change as soon as I watch the third one. Cause I've seen the reviews. A lot of people said Maz Mickelson did a good job. Ezra Miller should have got fired. And it's just like Ezra Miller's performance. It's not really that good. They, they could have replaced him with anybody with the way that he's going about this character.
All right, everybody, and that was Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. This movie was epic, man. I, I know that the some of the dialogue wasn't really that good and some of the storytelling wasn't necessarily that good. It was kind of unnecessary, but there was a lot of points in this movie where it really had me hype or just had me feeling really good. I, it, it, it got me excited for the next one. Now, I like I keep saying that it's making me want to see it in theaters and stuff, but I'm going to hold off and make sure that I wait till it comes out on streaming so I can do a reaction for y'all and stuff. Um, the only movie that I'm necessarily gonna see in theaters this year is probably Doctor Strange yeah but I really love the performances in this movie I, I love the, the effects I, I love just the set pieces the soundtrack was amazing uh, Johnny Depp killed it as always you know Johnny Depp is one of the great actors Eddie Romaine killed it again I just I love his character man he just so easily likable and you can just feel for him. I really like what they did with Dumbledore here and just a lot of surprises they had in this movie. This dude, Grindelwald, is a great mastermind. Every scene that he was in was just showing me more and more that this dude is so much better than Tom Riddle. To me, like Tom Riddle only had a few scenes in the original like franchise where he had moments to shine and stuff. Pretty much like with Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, like almost everything that was happening was Voldemort trying to have that happen. In this movie, all, pretty much everything was happening. Grindelwald wanted that to happen and he was trying to get that to happen. So I really hope that y'all enjoyed watching this movie with me and you enjoyed this video. You know, please like, share, comment down below, subscribe, click the bell so you know when I upload more videos and then follow me on all my social medias. You know, the links will be down in the description, you know, like Instagram, Twitter, Discord, you know, just to name a few. And I'm gonna start streaming more on Twitch and everything just when I get my own spot and everything. I will go ahead and give this movie like a, the same grade, like an A, B minus. To me, both of them are like on the same level. I, I just, I cannot wait to hear the comments and read the comments to see exactly what it was about this movie in particular that a lot of people didn't like about it. Um, like I, I can see some things, but I know that there's probably more things about this movie that a lot of people didn't like about it. But with all that being said, I'll see you on the next one. All right, peace. <laughs>